so everyone so the topic is distribution of bgp and ospf right so this is the topic for the day now the problem is that if we have some routers in our network okay and these are connected like this okay and let us assume that on right side we have we have configured the bgp protocol which protocol broader gateway protocol on right side and on left side we have a protocol that is what which protocol is working here that is OSPF. ospf is working here okay so now how these protocol will interact to each other how the data will be forwarded to each other okay oh dear this topic is not the part of ccna but the ccnp routing topic is this but we will cover up okay as i told you yesterday so we will cover up okay so let's uh, first of all make the network let's create the network okay one two three routers are there okay let us assume the ospf is working on the left side of the network here ospf we will we will configure here and bgp will be here okay let me connect all these okay let me uh, show the panels okay so okay, okay let me turn on all the devices okay so dear let us assume the network 192.168.10.0 is on left side okay and on right side 192.168. Uh, sorry 200.0.0.0 this is the network on the right side okay okay on the right side of the network we have uh, bgp protocol here and the network is 200.0.0.0 on the left side of the network uh, of the r2 okay so r2 is the mediator router which is common router for both of these okay so first of all <clears throat> we will configure the ospf let us assume that area is zero here uh, okay and about the bgp let us assume the as number as 150 is assigned to the router 2 and AS 200 has been assigned to the router number 3 and let us assume we have a loopback interface also available on the right side of R3 okay what is this loopback interface loopback IP address is 9.9.9.9 slash 32 okay so first of all we will provide the IP address to these three routers and after providing the IP address we will configure the OSPF, BGP and so on the protocols okay starting from router number one okay configuring terminal IP address interface F0 slash 0 no shutdown okay IP address 192.168.0 10.1 and 255.255.255.0 that is means we have provided the IP address 10.1 here and 10.2 here okay and on this side we have 200.0.0.1 and 200.0.0.2 on right side okay okay this is my network now let's start doing the configuration okay we have just provided the ip address okay then let's move forward to r2 r2 have two ip addresses two physical interfaces so we will put a command config term, configuring terminal interface of 0 slash 0 no shutdown okay ip address 192.168.10.2 .2 and 255.255.255.0 okay now right side we have an interface f is 0 slash 1 so let's do the same for that interface also interface f 0 slash 1 no shutdown okay 
IP address 200.0.0.1255.255.255.0. Okay. So R2 has been configured. Let's go to router number three. Configuring terminal. Okay. Interface F0 slash 1. No shutdown. IP address 200.0.0.2 and 255.255.255.0. That's all. Okay. Another network is also available here that is 9.9.9.9 slash 32. So I will take a loopback interface for that. Okay. Interface loopback 1. Okay. N <laughs> IP address 9.9.9.9. .9 okay. And 255.255.255.255. Okay. So we have just provided the IP address to all of these routers. Now I will go to router number one and will advertise the OSPF networks. Okay. Router OSPF one. Okay. Network 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255. Which area is this? Area zero. Right. Now let's go to router number two, router OSPF one. You already know about all this network. Which network is this? 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255 area zero. Right. So we have configured the OSPF prot protocol. Now we have to configure the BGP protocol. So how to do that? Router BGP 150. 150 is the AS number of the BGP, right? Router BGP 150. Now you have to you have to introduce the neighbor, right? So first of all, provide the neighbor information. Neighbor, which neighbor is this? Neighbor is 200.0.0.2, right? Remote. What is remote AS? What is the AS number of the neighbor? 200, right? Remote AS 200. That's all. Now, as we did in in OSPF, you have to enter. You have to advertise this network also. You have to advertise this network also to run the BGP protocol. So how to do that? Just put a command network 200.0.0.0 and mask. Just provide the subnet mask. Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. That's all you have to do. Now let's configure the router number three. Router BGP 200, right? First of all, provide the neighbor information. Neighbor is what? <clears throat> neighbor is 200.0.0.1. Okay. Remote AS 150. Okay. Now we have two different network to be advertised. That is 200.0.0.0 and 9.9.9.9. .9 let's, let's do the, do the same. Okay. Network 200.0.0.0. Okay, net ma uh, that is mass. Just provide the subnet mass 255.255.255.c. Okay, now provide the information of the of the loopback interface that is 9.9.9.9. .9 okay, so network 9.9.9.9. .9 okay, and subnet mask is 255.255.255.255. That's all you have to do. Okay, dear all. So we have just configured the BGP on right side and left side. We have configured the OSPF protocol. Now, what is remaining part? What is remaining here? Now, we have to, we have to redistribute the protocols. So R2 is the common router. So just redistribute the protocols over here. How to do that? Router OSPF1. Just provide the BGP information to these to this side of OSPF. 
and ospf information must be provided on the right side of the network okay so what we will do redistribute bgp 150 what is the s number provided the 150 okay redistribute bgp 150 subnets this command will advertise the bgp in ospf redistribute the bgp in ospf now let's do the same on on ospf site right or not router bgp 150 redistribute ospf 1 that's all <coughs> so till now any confusion anyone hello no okay what we will do we will just go to router number one and we'll ask dear do you have any information about router uh, about the 9.9.9.9 .9 .9? okay so ping 9.9.9.9 .9 .9. that's all you can see that is pinging perfect hello okay so this is how the two protocols can interact to each other by the help of what redistribution now anyone has any confusion about distribution how the two protocols interact with each other <coughs> so can we move forward to our next topic acl yes access control list okay let me